So this story really is stunning. An Ohio middle, middle school remains closed today after enriched uranium was detected inside the building. The school is just a few miles from a Department of Energy plant that was built to support the U.S. nuclear program during the Cold War. Ryan Young is live in Piketon, Ohio, with much more on this. Ryan, what's going on here? John, as you can imagine, there's a lot of questions here, especially from those folks who have kids who attend this school. And in fact, there's an emergency meeting tonight. When you look at this, though, you think just a few weeks away from school closing, now these parents are worried about what could have been found inside the school and will it affect their children? There's just not a playbook in how we deal with this, and we're, we're kind of writing the script as we go. Scioto Valley Local School District Superintendent reacting to a shocking discovery. Enriched uranium found inside an Ohio middle school building, along with Neptunium-237, detected by an air monitor just outside. The school board president alerted parents in a letter Monday and announced immediate closure of the school. That's the reason why we stopped and shut the school building down until we can get an independent study done and find results of what's going on. Zahn's Corner Middle School is located in the village of Piketon, home to about 2,100 people, about 65 miles south of Columbus. The school itself, mere miles away from the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, where the U.S. Department of Energy says enriched uranium and neptunium have been identified as contaminants of concern. From 1954 to 2001, the plant produced enriched uranium. Now it is part of an ongoing cleanup project, one that community leaders are skeptical about. I am not confident in DOE's plan to move forward without figuring out, you know, are there activities currently contaminating the community? The school board and county health department believe the DOE must take appropriate actions to ensure radiological contaminants are not being released from the site. Every house that I sampled contained enriched uranium above background. Elizabeth Lamberson is an environmental scientist living near the nuclear plant cleanup site. She and a team gathered samples that found enriched uranium inside the school, raising alarms in the community. One council member saying, in just the past five years, five students in the district have been diagnosed with cancer. Three of them have died. I would hate to think that anyone would think it would be okay to continue with activities that would, that would continue to expose members of the community to carcinogens. The school board now working with the county health department to develop a path forward that will ensure our students, staff, and community are safe. School's going to be starting before we know it. I um, mean, in addition to the school, there's a lot of just concern with people who live near the school. You know, the school's here, but there's also uh, an entire community that's, that's also very concerned. Now, in the left-hand corner of your screen near that fog line, that is where the plant is. And you can see the school at the bottom. Now, the U.S. Department of Energy is telling CNN that routine air samples in the area of the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant revealed only trace amounts of two radiological isotopes. But imagine telling that to a parent. And then not only do we're talking about the school, there are kids who live near here. In fact, yesterday, guys, we were watching kids playing nearby. A lot of people have questions about how this is going to affect their health overall especially when you hear about those uh, child deaths. Absolutely. Those cancer cases really do also raise questions about what's happening there. Ryan, thank you very much.